Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Musilion, or Musilon playthrough, where, well, remember what was happening last time, um, I went back to, uh, redo that, I can't remember where I was redoing something. Anyway, I went back to redo the cheese fight we had, and they actually ran away rather than fight, so rather than going down here, I, I, uh, tried to double time it back up here so I could capture them, and they actually didn't come and attack me. Weirdly, which is a uh, quite nice. So we're still in a very tricky position, however. Um, macabre. Through the shadows. Good, this will do. So we're still going to go on ambushy, ambushy. Uh, while we uh, slowly build. You are going to need to head this way to build up. Hopefully, we'll actually the the orcs will get a rebellion there. So, right now it is a matter of holding on for long enough to actually build my armies and my forces. Because if we can get my uh, skelly forces up, uh, we're fine. If I can, and also if I can sort of, for example, bait them out of Pravon. That might be something very worth us trying to do, is to try and bait Paravon out so we can smash them and smash there. I don't necessarily want to take there, but if I can do damage to it and force them out of there uh, and kill that army, we can lay siege and maybe even force a peace treaty with them, which would be a very solid benefit for us, because then we'd be able to uh, look to the north rather than the south, because at the moment we're kind of having to watch both sides. I mean, if I could peace treaty with everybody up in the south, up in the north, that'd be better. But come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! That'll do. That has, however, revealed both my forces. But that is a really solid hit for us, and might mean we can, um, can might mean we can peace out Zifflin. To be fair, I could probably take. Zifflin now. In fact, I'm going to charge up and I am going to sack it for the income. And if they come hit Montfort, we can always pull back there. Ooh, recruitment cost, actually. Oh, damn. Maybe we won't be a. Uh... See, they're actually humans. Help the infantry there. Yes. Ready. Extra ambush chance, please. And you're quite obviously just going to keep going damage. Sorry, I know I went a bit quiet there. Increased mobility. There we go. Oh, we've already done the one I really wanted. Um, trying to work out what I actually want. We'll get that as well. Eventually we'll get him on a terror geist, which will be awesome. 
think a loss reduction is also huge. I'd quite like that. Yeah, we're going to go for that. No, I'm going to go for Vigor Loss Reduction to start with, because that is really, really big for us. What is your will? Save up the money to get another uh, set of Black Knights. I do love the way that all the lights. I know they're normal Black Knights, guys, but I love the way they are Bretonian Black Knights. It is so cool um, to have them looking Bretonian and everything. Um, Mom, um, Paravon, you know you want to die on me. I'm going to go uh, destroy that city next turn um, so that the um, Blackstone, so these guys can actually capture it and I can start trading with them because long run plan is to uh, is to um, confederate the Barrow Legion, but I'm in no rush to do that. And then we will free Bretonia from his tyranny, these tyranny, tyrannical lords, um, and free the people and use the du use the dead to protect them. Of anguish. Oh. <laughs> so what, actually, I might just see what I can bleed them for because actually, if I can bleed them for a couple of k, it might be worth piecing out. And that said, they'll come back and I piece out. I'd prefer to make an ally stronger. Ooh! Well, it looks like we have a fight! And it's an actual fight, this one. Could be fun. They've got some quite nice troops there. They've got the Pegasuses. Pegasuses? Pegasuses? They've got a uh, men at arms, so obviously my skelly force isn't going to be the strongest. We'll have to see where my other guys come in from. It's a shame we didn't get the ambush off. I think I was a bit too far away. Um. Oh, we're cheesing them. Just charge. Paladin of Britonia. Stay put. Right, let's pause for a second because actually these guys need to be uh, positioned. Properly. Well, he says properly. There we go. and get the flanking off here as much as possible.
into the rear of them. Just keep the pressure on. You can charge them. Ever faithful. That's good, some of them are coming over, but that's fine. We are actually doing plenty of damage here to them. Let's turn a couple of units up just to try and hold them for the moment. Slam into the rear of them and break them, please. Lights out. Protect Bretonia. Blood Knights. Let's get them nice and engaged. You want to be going there. I want you on the Lords. Blood Knights. You guys can flank around, you can stay on him. So we're all gonna start flooding around the flanks there. And then we're gonna slam into them from behind. Kill him! Here we go, these guys are all cracking now here. A lot of these guys can just slam into the flank, but we're going to pull more right around the back. So they can slam into the other side there. You guys can start doing the same up here. I oh, know you guys can do that into them. You guys can come up and go into the back of that unit. And that's what we wanted. Slamming it forwards. The Lord is dead. Attack! Everything into them. I know we'll take damage from my large units, but I don't care. In we go. I know I preempted it a little early there, but. Heal, that's what we wanted. They're all cracking there nicely. And it's over. Honor the lady. Vanquish them. Strike them. Doing our duty. Bows, eyes. And kill as many as possible. Possible. And actually, we didn't take two bad losses there. Um, we just fought it as two separate fights in the end, um, which worked. Uh, we, the army I cheesed will have probably kept, you know, 
Won't have lost as many. Yeah, that's the one I cheesed because quite a lot of them will have just been pushed straight out of the battle. But wasn't a big army, so that's not too bad. Um, I'm amazed by how few losses this army took. If they'd have really hammered that army with more of the troops, they could have probably wiped that army out. But then my other army would have swayed around into the back of them. It was a tricky position for them to be in, to be fair. Um, but yeah. Jean Clement did well. We shall uh, take the replenishment. He's so gonna double time. He didn't double time into. Oh! My lady will not allow it. Oh, which one to go for? Not in this world or the other. Snigger, go Tireless. This better be important. None shall live. I will force them to come to me and I will be damaging their settlement garrison at the same time. I know I was going to go for dwarves, but this is too good a th good opportunity. Oh, actually, this is beautiful as well. Technically, I can force them out, though I don't think I actually want to. I'd prefer to actually hold them at the choke points if I can. My knightly order there. I should have waited back rather than moving preempting forward, to be fair. So they are kind of milling. Basically, these guys are in front to take the brunt of any charge. They're, they're throwaway units, I don't care about. Charge. Take those knights of the realm straight out. Forwards, break. I didn't want them to get caught in the middle, but we, we've done what we needed there. You guys can pull out now while these guys bog them down. Now we're already breaking them.
cavalry wing can pull back because these guys are quite obviously coming back through with reinforcements. And let's reverse this choke point. into them. You guys can start flanking them. They're going to go right around. There's no need for subtle now, guys. Just keep the pressure right on in there. Just smash through into the next unit. That unit is done. We're keeping them nice and secure there. Let's get onto their lord. Field trebuchet! Crush them all! Come on, push through. <laughs> Those poor archers. God, this isn't nice. Oh, the poor Pavo people of Paravon there are getting completely shredded. Straight through, it's over, they're breaking. At the end, I mean, they, they, the fact they charged forwards, they should have held back. They would have done much better by holding back there. Um, that advance forward is what killed them. If they'd held the line, they'd be able to get everything to... The, I mean, they'd have lost anyway, but it would have been a far more painful victory for me. The fact they pushed forwards is what killed them. If they'd actually held back and waited for their reinforcements... I'd have had to move far quicker to do things and I've probably got units trapped trying to flank them. You think evading more? What is your will? My bloodline calls. Oh god, we didn't have both armies there. <laughs> Whoops. I will lead by oh. 
Strike out. And ambush chat time again or attempt. You know, I think I will probably always have some archers in here, so that's probably quite good. Fences up a bit. Okay, so our campaigning is going very nicely now. The real question is do I take Paravon? Um, or do I force a peace treaty here so I can concentrate elsewhere for the time being? Because I could theoretically just force peace here now. Or I could continue on and smash them, but Helmgart there is dangerous. And the Wood Elves are dangerous as well, so it's a bit of a tricky one. I think if they'll offer me peace, I will take it for the time being, so I can concentrate on the North. Um, get all of this consolidated. Because I don't... I, I'm, I'm in danger of ending up in war with the Wood Elves if I push down to, down into Pravon. Um, which I don't really want to be doing this early. Because I ate them. You come with ladies' tidings. Hmm. Change of plan. Pravon can fall as they're piecing out with me. I, I didn't get the ambush off, but they didn't know I was there, so they got wiped out. Now, we could have some fun and go for Helmgard. I am good. What do you want? Night march. Burn it! I will alone. Fight! Kill! Slay them! Nice! We have Axe Bite Path and Helmgart here, which doesn't start with too much, but... I mean, no range, but that's because what? we are not technically a Bretonian force. Let's head back there. Drink their life force. As long as I am Lord, this thing will receive no hospitality from me. Oh, wow. Earthbound. Not bad. The light of the spawn of Mus and stops the Empire creeping in and out of our territories. The, Empire, the nation calls. Strigon, I am. You dare approach me, vile beasts. We're your friends, Mr. Franz. Oh, it's still going down, just not quite as much. Anyway, guys, that is where we're gonna leave it for now. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. 
There is a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, so please check them out. As always, thank you for watching.